guys, it's Lee, and I am currently sitting in a park on my way to Black Rock, um, which is a village not too far from where my daughter lives. Um, I actually went to Black Rock last time I was here, and I recorded or filmed that as well. Also, I want to apologize. I said I would be putting up videos while I'm here, and well, that hasn't happened. We got here. I got here. Got zero sleep on the flight. Actually, I got two hours of sleep. It was an overnight flight. I got two hours of sleep, and then it took me days to recover from that because I'm old, and um, it's hard to recover from when you're old. Anyway, so after we got here, I did a few things with my daughter. I didn't record any of them because, you know, we just had fun. We were shopping, like, at the grocery store and stuff, and then I got sick. Uh, not COVID. I was tested, it was just a cold, and I'm feeling so much better. So now this is my second week here and I'm finally getting out and doing stuff. Well, on my own, I mean, I was doing stuff before. Uh, so my first trip, since I'm feeling better, is to head over to Black Rock by myself. It's my first solo outing, um, you know, walking. So this should be fun and hopefully I remember how to get there. Uh, we did come here one day when I first got here to get a phone for me to use while I'm here. Just a cheapy one and then I'm gonna leave it here and um, activate it whenever I come back. It's 20 euro per month which is really pretty inexpensive for phone service I think. I also had a, a trip scheduled for today to go to the Wicklow Mountains but because I was sick and they didn't know if I would be better in time I have reschedule well, they were kind enough to reschedule that for next week for me so I'm excited to do that I did get to go to the cliffs of Moore and Galway City before I got sick right before I got sick and I will try to create a video out of what I recorded which wasn't that much because like I said before not a vlogger I don't know how to vlog I feel really um self-conscious when I'm trying to vlog things but I definitely have a lot of pictures that I can share so I will try to put something together about that. Alright so I am going to continue on my journey to Black Rock. crossing the street. So down that way are the malls and this way is the little town of Black Rock or Village. So I decided to walk down through the village first and maybe down by the water and then I will circle back around and go to the little shopping malls. I actually got to ride one of those double-decker buses the other day. Well, it was last week. It's pretty cool.
There's a little market space back here. When I came to Ireland last year, all these little stalls were closed. I've heard that that fish and chip shop is really good. I'm not sure how much of this you guys can actually see. The water just there. So, what they, they offer that, they, what I would do now, I would. I can't really see my viewfinder out here, so I don't know what you guys are actually seeing. All right, so that's it for the main street in Black Rock.
right, guys, I made it back to my daughter's apartment. It's quite a hike. Oh, here's my daughter's roommate's cat. Kitty, kitty, kitty. So I need to get her off the counter. But <laughs> that's the reason I'm here. I'm cat sitting. My daughter also got a kitten because we chose not to, we decided not to bring her pets over from the U.S. So she got a kitten that um, when she's done with school, she's going to bring it back home with her. So let's start with the stuff I got at M&S. It got really tricky to film in, whoops, sorry, in the grocery stores because it's Friday and there are a lot of people out. Plus it was lunchtime when I first started. So it's almost three now. So this is what I got at M&S. Now this was reduced. There were two, but a lady grabbed one the same time I did. I wasn't going to get two of them, but it's reduced to four dollars, uh, not dollars, euro. It was seven euro. It is a wood-fired pizza with Italian buffalo mozzarella and Santa Bella tomatoes. I don't know what that means, but I figured that would make a really nice dinner one night. Then, of course, I got my, you saw my last videos. I picked up some Colin the Caterpillar cakes. Uh, these are the mini cakes. They're so cute and they're so tasty. I wanted to get the big cake, but my daughter said that's ridiculous. Well, that was last time. She's not here. I could have gotten it. They have a shamrock version, which I took a picture of. Then I got this donut. Why? I don't know, because it looked good. It was like a double chocolate donut. I have so many sweets now, and I'm the only one here. These were also reduced, so I grabbed two of them for 75 cents, and they are extra virgin olive oil and roasted garlic flatbread, which I'm going to just pop in her freezer, and I thought for that cheap, they were regularly three euros and 10 cents, so I thought that was a really good deal. Then I picked up some Parmesan cheese, which... I got this kind. It's hard to find the shredded like we have in the, well, I haven't found it. I found this and then the grated, but not the grated that comes in a can. It's actual Parmesan cheese, but it's grated and I don't really care for that. And then also, whoops, I picked up, also reduced these 12 garlic dough balls. And it says dough balls filled with oozing garlic butter. They were 310 and I got them for 1 euro 90, which I think is a pretty good deal. So I'm going to go ahead and throw a lot of this in the freezer and I'll be back to show you what I got at the other stores. All right, next was Aldi and the only thing I picked up in Aldi were two of these four cheese tortellini packages and one of this specially specially selected Made in Italy, Parmigiano Reggiano tortelli, Tortelloni. So I just picked that up. I'm going to freeze most of it. I'm going to use one of them for like either a dinner and a lunch or two dinners for me. So I got those. So and then last but not least, I went to a store called Super Value. And I picked up these Doritos. These are the same as the Nacho Doritos in the U.S. So the tangy cheese equals nacho Doritos. They do have the Cool Ranch, um, but then they have like chili, I don't know. So I also picked up some raspberries. I love raspberries. And blackberries. Then I got these chips because I thought they sounded interesting. They are shamrock and, sh and sour cream, and I have no idea what that means, but we're going to give it a shot. Next up, I've heard people talk about these Fox's party rings in UK, actually UK vlogs, so I picked them up to just see what they're all about. I found this kind of cheese, the, what my kids always called shake cheese. So I, it's dried medium hard cheese powder. So I'm hoping it's like, yeah, I don't know what it is actually. I think, let me see what the ingredients say. I don't know, it doesn't really say, but I'll figure it out or they'll figure it out. They did not have any Worcestershire sauce here. The girls didn't. So I picked up a small bottle of Lee and Perrins, which I made beef stew 
and it would have been for them and it would have been me. And it would have been so much better if I had Worcestershire sauce and I didn't think about it until it was too late. And then this actually, I'm pretty sure came from Aldi. This came from Aldi as well. I picked up this garlic puree um, just because, you know, it's easy. So I got that. So that's everything I picked up at Super Value. Well, minus that, that was Aldi. All right, so I guess that's it for this video. Um, the rest of the day, I'm just gonna be hanging out here at the apartment. I have some pizza. I got pizza from Pizza Hut last night and I'm gonna heat the what's left of that up for my dinner. So nothing too exciting going on here tonight. So I wanna thank you guys for watching and hanging in there, even though I was supposed to be posting this whole time and I didn't. Um, so yeah, you can also find me over on Instagram, Pinterest, and Facebook. Oh, give this video a thumbs up, please. And thanks for watching. Bye.